Okay, here we have a 2004 Damon Challenger motorhome. We're going to change out the awning on it. Okay, first thing I did, I pulled the awning out. Okay, and on the left side, there's a, a hole. You can get a small screwdriver and you stick in that hole to lock uh, the spring in where it don't spring back when we take this loose. On the right side, you will need a vice grip to do the next step. But right now, what you're gonna do is take the arms off of the spool of the awning. There's a, should be with one little screw, take them out and they'll just pop out the top of the arms. And you'll lay the, uh, awning down towards the bottom of the straight down off the side of the camper. Now when you get the awning down side the camper you use your vice grip on the right hand side and put it on the piece that went into the arm and you have to crank it to spring down. So put your vice grip on there and then you have to throw your switch on your awning spool as if you was putting on him back up and hold your vice grips on there and unwind that spring. Make sure you count how many times you unwind it. Before we drill the rivets out and pull the spring out, we want to mark the cap with the spool so it goes back in the same spot it was in. Okay, here I unwound it and all you do is you you have to drill out your rivets. So you'll need a rivet gun to put all this back together. Drill your rivets out and you pull your spring out. And this is what it looks like. You see my vice grips on the end of the uh, awning spring there. Okay, after you get the spring out, you'll go ahead and uh, pull your spool off the end of your awning, which here, it was all one piece. Some of them's got two pieces for your for the little flat piece in the front. I just took a knife and I cut down the middle of it, and then I just pulled my spool piece off of it, both ends of the tracks. To pull the awning off, first you have to remove the arm, take the screws out the top bracket, and then you'll be able to pull the awning through the front of the bus. Once you get your spool off start taking it off the top track. What you'll need is a screw should be on each side that awning up top holding it in place. Take them screws out and you should be able to just pull it off, pull it all the way out on your front side there. And that's it, me uh, pulling it all by myself. One man, pull that out. Okay, when putting your new awning in, here I already got it in. You'll need a, a second person to help you feed that in. Uh, but at the front end, you, you track where you got, that goes in. You would want to get a screwdriver or something, kind of widen it open a little bit so you don't, and tape it up to where you don't tear your awning while you're pulling it through. Once you get that in place, you go ahead and you slide your spool piece on the, on the bottom of your awning. And it just slides real easy on there. Just you know, you'll need a second person to help you do that. Okay, now you install your spring back into your tube. Make sure you line your line marks up on the tube cap and the tube. Put your rivets in and you'll have to rewind your spring back up. However many times you unwind it earlier, do the same amount of time as you did then. And once you get your spool in there, you're gonna, you'll have to uh, throw your switch on your spool and crank it how many times you uncranked it when you took it apart and then stick it back in your arms and uh, put your screws back in your plate in your arms to hold it in place. And you get them screws in there and uh, you're done. Roll it 
what you do, you roll it up, make sure you square up top. And if it's even, make sure it rolls up even. And then if it's not, you still slide the top piece on the camper part track to where it needs to be. Unroll it and roll it back up till it's even. And then you put your set screws in the tracks up top to where it don't slide. And you're done.